guys, now this is my outfit as an 80s college student or something like that. I'm wearing these like yellow tights and black flats because ColourPop was really big in the 80s and um, a lot of layering, so that's why I'm wearing this red belt. And basically this video is just going to be a bunch of tips and tricks on how to dress like you're actually from the 80s with a more authentic style. Um, and so I'm going to basically lay out the different styles that there were in the 80s. Just like today, there are different styles and trends, but everyone has their own way of playing on those trends, and that's kind of how it was in the 80s with, like, there was, like, a Madonna style, but there was also, like, a stay-at-home mom style. And I just like combining all of those, so I'm going to show you a bunch of different, like, 80s characters or, like, personas that people... Um, portrayed in the 80s and so yeah so this is the first look all of this stuff is thrifted before we get into all of the looks I am going to be giving a synopsis of each look and kind of like what the 80s was all about why I chose that item just so you guys understand kind of like why I chose the specific items for the look that I was going for um, I really wanted to be creative with this. It was definitely hard because I thrifted all these pieces and there were other pieces I wanted to find. But I also really wanted to make this video and I was a bit impatient so I did with what I had. Um, but yeah, so I really want to let you guys know that most of the information that I'm giving is not like expert anything. I'm just giving from what I've observed in like TV shows, like 80s shows, 80s movies, things like that. Also. A lot of the information was from my mom who grew up in the 80s and so she gave me a lot of information about what she used to wear. So that's pretty cool too and I just hope you guys know that like this is just my opinion about the 80s and yeah, take what you want from it. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an explanation for each piece and just show you it in a little bit more detail. And then my mom had, me and my mom had this big debate as to what jeans were popular in the 80s, um, but she did tell me that a lot of times they would wear leggings with stirrups um, and flats with like colored socks underneath, um, which I thought was really cool. And I couldn't find any pants with stirrups like leggings wise, but I did find these jeans with stirrups, they're Jordache jeans, um, and they are very cool and high waisted and beautiful. Um, they have like a little like wear right there, but they're still really cool. So I wore these in a few looks, which you will see. And these jeans, the reason we chose them is because she said that these were probably more accurate because she said in the early 80s they would wear those tight jeans where she said she would literally have to like lay down to zip them up and they were just like fitted perfectly to the T. And it wasn't until the later 80s where it started to be like top up, tight up top and like looser in the bottom if that makes sense. Like more of that like mom jean feel. So that's why I chose these jeans because they kind of gave off that vibe. And she said what they would do is wear like men's t-shirts and like roll up the sleeves. And I know this for, for a fact because in um, Full House, DJ wears this look a couple times. And I saw pictures of it, which I will show here, kind of embodying that. So that's where I went with this look. And she said she would wear like a big chunky belt. So I don't have a chunky belt, so I went with the belt I had. Um, but hopefully you can see what I was going for. Um, and I think these stirrups are just so cool. Like, for real. I still think they're amazing. Um, so yeah, that's that look. This look that you're about to see is, for me, I would believe, like, up here, like, mid to late 80s, um, like, rodeo style. I've seen it on Pinterest before, and I, I have a picture of someone wearing it, and I'll, like, put it right here. It's kind of similar. Um, and I tried to pop up the collar, which you'll see. And there's, like, these rhinestones on it. It actually... It's from this place called Renditions, New York. Um, I got it at the thrift, like, brand new. It's never been worn. It was originally $78 at a store called Thimbles. And so I just think that's cool that it has the original tag. It is way too big for me. It's size 16. But I still wore it and, like, shrunk in the waist to kind of show you guys what maybe they were wearing in the 80s, maybe to, like, a high school party or something kind of fun and, like, I don't know, just a little bit more like outgoing where you can dress a little bit more eccentric. So that's what this look is. I would never wear this like in real life. It's just a little bit too much for me. But I think it is definitely a staple piece from the 80s that I'm so glad I found. It's like a little time capsule. 
I wish it would fit me though because it is very very long. And then this outfit is based on like some of the oversized blazers that I saw a lot on Pinterest. Um, kind of like that boss lady, boss girl type vibe. But I found this at the thrift store. It is not from the 80s but because it is a bigger size I was hoping it would give that oversized blazer look and then it has this funky collar. And in the 80s, they definitely went, like, big and bold with a lot of their collar choices or a lot of, like, the little details on things. Um, and it's polka dot. So I was trying to go with something like that. So I wore it as a dress. Um, and may I would have worn it, like, with colored tights if I had some. Um, but yeah, so this is another one that I did. This is a Liz Claiborne dress. Um, it's most likely from the 90s. And this collar was actually added on by someone who previously owned it. So... That was like a cool funky detail about it and it's actually like a dress but I was wearing it as like a blazer dress. So this is a dress that me and my mom kind of like argued about because she was saying it's not 80s um, and it's homemade but to me I've seen pictures of like sewing patterns from the 80s that look like this fit dress. I think this is a theater dress that they wore for some type of show but it has polka dots and stripes and I noticed in Pinterest a lot of the 80s was different patterns mixed together like geometrics or like polka dots and stripes or just like different shapes on one piece of clothing so that's what I was trying to embody with this piece and I bet they would have worn a big white chunky belt right here I don't have a white chunky belt so I didn't do that so I tried to add like an extra element like the scarf um, but yeah so this is kind of like another example of something I thought that maybe like a mom or like I don't know, just like a mom in the everyday life would wear around the house or going out to get groceries or something. Um, that's just my opinion. My mom disagrees and she was in the 80s, so. And then this dress represents like more of the mid, late 80s, kind of like the beginning of Fresh Prince of Bel Air type vibes. Um, and my niece has actually said that in Roseanne, Becky wears a dress very similar to this in the early seasons um, for prom. And so I was kind of going off maybe like a middle schooler, tween, or like early high schooler, homecoming type dance situation in the 80s wearing this dress and thinking it looks amazing. The pattern's a little bit much for me. I don't think I could go for it, but I mean it does give off that 80s vibe and the brand is Mementos, um, which I've never heard of before. It also gives me Golden Girl vibes, so that was also in the late 80s. Um, and yeah, these just big spunky patterns of like the bright vibrant colors, especially this royal blue were really popular, so that's why I chose this dress, and I'm saving this for a special occasion. I feel like I could do a thrift flip or something like that. I would never wear it like in person, but it definitely is cool, and I like to have those 80 el 80s elements in my looks, even if it's not completely like full on 80s, if you know what I mean. And this is another dress that I believe like a middle schooler or like teenager would wear. Um, maybe just to their first day of school or something like that. This is like another handmade dress. So I can't particularly say if it's from the 80s. But the pattern it gives with all of these primary colors reminds me a lot of like the 80s ads I would see on Pinterest. Of like people wearing just like geometric shapes with those primary colors like yellow, red, blue, that type of thing. And so that's why I chose this dress because... It may not be from the 80s and the pattern may not actually be 80s, but it reminds me of that style or time where people were wearing those bright colors with all the patterns and funkiness to it, probably the late 80s rather than the early ladies. If you've noticed the pattern, the early 80s, it was developing from the 70s. So the 70s weren't as like those bright poppy colors, they were more of that like, kind of like washed out burnt orange or like those type of colors in the 70s so when it moved to the 80s it kind of was like transitioning back to colors so in the early 80s you don't see a lot of that you still see a lot of 70s in the pieces but by the time we get to the mid to late 80s that's when all the pop culture started to happen with the bright colors and the funky patterns and all that kind of stuff so that's what i was kind of trying to embody if you couldn't tell now these shorts i know are from the 80s because the brand is um, Sustanza. I might be wrong, but the tag is like totally 80s. I don't even know how to describe it. And there's these bright yellow shorts that like Velcro, which is amazing in one aspect and just interesting altogether. But the reason I chose these shorts for this particular outfit is because I was trying to go for like a kid in the 80s in the summer 
or like a kid in the 80s just wearing those like bright colors with like just kind of looking casual with like the chunky socks and the white tennis shoes. I wish I had the white Reeboks. I'm going to show what they look like. Um, apparently these were really popular shoes and I don't have them so I went with the best that I had but these I definitely wish I could have had because um, they're really cool. But anyways, so I wore these shorts just to give more little kid vibe because I want to show how the 80s wasn't just like a stag, like everyone knows it's like a fun time, but like there were so many styles within the different genres of like people and culture of the 80s. So this is more of like the kid pop culture that I wanted to embody. Um, so yeah. Alright, I'm going to keep this piece on its hanger, but it's basically a skirt and a shirt with this like houndstooth red. I'm pretty sure it might be a sleep gown, but even if it is, we're just going to go with it for this look because um, it's it's just big and it's loud and blazers were in and like, I don't know, I just feel like I could see this being in like an 80s woman, someone like a woman going to work or just looking like so cool. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. So that's why I chose this outfit because I wanted to give off that more like um, business woman type um, and also like the big chunky belts were in. I don't have a lot of those so I tried my best. Um, but yeah, so I think this gives off 80s. I don't know. To me it does. The brand is Liquid Silk and I believe it's just kind of like a old lady nightgown brand. That might be wrong but it says made in China and that's why I doubt this is from the 80s. But it gives me those 80s vibes, and that's why I went with it. And then for this next look, um, I have this like silky, paisley, oversized, big, blousey shirt. And I chose this for a teacher look because I feel like in the 80s this might be like a sophisticated teacher with those big rimmed glasses kind of look. And I added like a little pencil detail, like this vintage pencil with this vintage wool skirt and I was really trying to give off that like 80s teacher vibe but also I don't know if I hit the mark with that one but someone definitely did wear this in the 80s I feel like um in the late 80s this was definitely a thing like Miss Huxtable from the Cosby show probably wore this shirt um there's just so many things you could probably do with this that they would have worn and also layers were a huge thing I really struggle with layers, especially when I want to make something authentic. I don't want to add too many layers and it become not true because they're not like actually from that decade. I don't know. I just want it to be like true and real and so it gets hard sometimes for me to do that. But anyway, so that's this look and I want to be a teacher so I had to include a teacher in the 80s look for you. And then next I wanted to add like a casual teenager look because the 80s wasn't always that pop and glam type look. There were more like um, simple outfits that were still like amazingly 80s. They just didn't have that pop in color. So that's why I added a white shirt and like a black vest with a little brooch hooked at the collar. I noticed Blossom from the show Blossom, she does this. And also the girl from 16 Candles, I found a picture of her as well, where they button it and they put a brooch like right there at the nape of their neck and I just think that's really cool so I did that with this look with the blazer and I just kind of played on that a little bit um also I just think that like the 80s wasn't always just like all colorful so that's why I added a little simple black and white piece and my mom said that she wore a lot of black and white she didn't always go like big and colorful so I kind of went with that for this look um and this is just a simple like black suede vest probably from the 90s um, you've seen it before in my friend's outfit um, video, but yeah. And then I added another uh, like mom look, um, maybe from like instead of like the late 80s, more like early mid 80s with this like, I don't know, this pink was really popular, maybe even a lighter pink, very pale kind of color, mauve, is that a word, mod, mauve, I don't know, something like that. Um, and this is like an oversized and Northern Reflections is the is the um, brand and I added a collar underneath and popped it up because that was very popular um, just with some jeans you know make it simple just like maybe a mom out taking her kids to like soccer or something I don't know probably I don't know if moms wore that but it kind of gave me off mom vibes I don't know why or just like a, a 30 year old woman casual day type 80s person alright so I hope you guys got a good idea of 
the 80s from like a step-by-step -step basis, explaining the pieces, explaining the trends, kind of what was going on, the color schemes, the fits, um, and things like that. So I hope you guys really like this video. I could go on and on and I really don't want to torture you with talking. So I am going to wrap up this video and just say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to continue to show you guys authentic vintage looks that you know took time to put together and things that I actually like had to research and learn about so I really hope that this is like a true form of the 80s for you guys and you really enjoy it um, and again if you want to check out my others 80s video for more outfit ideas make sure to click the link in my bio thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it please make sure to like subscribe and comment if you want thanks so much for watching bye your grace is my defense Your kindness calls me friend